Okay, from now on, we are more statistically, uh, instead of visually, uh, uh, analyze uh, the result. So all you have to do in 3D Studio Max is simply export these numbers. So I'll, okay, I will select helpers, and selection filter, and select these numbers. And then you'll see, and then if you, uh, you need to click this modify tab. And if you go down side of here, you can see the menu or button called export to CSV file. So this will export your analysis result in a file that you can see in Excel. So I just click this one, then select a folder, I just save it here, and then uh, give a name that you can remember easily. I called it light result and save it. So I'll just check the file. Uh, go to the folder you saved and then you will see this light reserved file so just double click it and you will see uh, this one in excel file so this one says uh, name id frame location date direct indirect total illumination unit daylight and position xyz but you kind of realize that the, actually the position is a little bit shifted actually this one is actually so as you see here um, the illumination unit which is looks but it is which is actually sitting here so actually what we are interested in is actually total illumination which is basically this value so um, I just kind of you can just directly use this one uh, but let's just kind of for conveniency so I just selected this one I changed the number format I changed the number we don't need any decimal so if you see this one this is actually our total I changed that uh, total illumination. Yeah, so as you see that where the sunlight is is actually about uh, 120,000 versus where shadow is under the shadow the value drops down so actually the value is about 20,000. So we want to see um, uh, what, what is the maximum and what is the minimum. So uh, um, I will use the uh, data analysis. Uh, probably uh, I will explain a little bit differently, but I, will, uh, I have uh, prepared a tutorial uh, to activate this data analysis. So please check the tutorial. So I just open data analysis. And then here I will select descriptive statistics and press OK. And you will see options. So first one is what is, uh, what is your input range? So I select this one and I select this total illumination column. Okay, so I just select it and enter. And then uh, I will sell. Then I, you need to select a summary statistics. That's it. And then I click OK. Then it will create a new window, a new sheet, and then you will see this result. What this one says is uh, mean value is about 102 illuminant. Okay, I'll just reformat this one so you can see it more easily. So also number then here. So uh, mean is about 100,000. Uh, standard error, I'll explain a little later, later. Median is about also 120, and mode is 120, and then uh, minimum is actually uh, 18,000, which is where the shadow is, and maximum is 123,000, which is where the uh, sun is. So actually, so again, uh, this will, will be very useful for us to support uh, how effective your shading device is on uh, the ground. Okay, that's it for this one.